what's up with this internet shit? Scrabble TV. This next question is from Mr. Switzer. And Switzer. Switzer. I apologize. Mr. Switzer. Um, and Ms. Griffin, you'll be the first to answer. To what extent should Tennessee state government be involved in working with the TVA and other energy providers on developing alternate energy sources such as geothermal, geothermal, solar, wind, and other sources? All right. This is another one of the 60s issues in order to – suppose I went to uh, – I'm uh, Albert Gore's uh, – son and i want my son to be uh very prosperous and I, I go out and tinker around with some inventions and i come with, up with you know a little smoke and i said well you know how am i going to push that invention well i know i'll go out to the universities and i'll sell them on it and then i'll tell them all the stuff they have now is bad and that's what happened with coal i was working at the university and there was a gentleman who had he had a map on the wall and he said you know how much, this is one acre. You know how much coal is in this? A million dollars worth. So at the university we started getting all these little, Jack Reeves was a political science professor and he was also a member of the Communist Party. And he said, coal is bad, we can't strip the earth. And so the students got in the street and they said stop and save the earth. And so this man, because the state legislature was so impressed with the picketers, that he, um, they, they passed laws, reclamation laws, that ran this man out of business, and Gulf Oil came along and picked up all the property for a song, and you didn't hear any more about strip mining. There's nothing wrong with using coal. The coal is a, a tremendous source, and if you didn't have the TV and the propaganda and the political science professors and all that, I, just, I tell you what, just leave us alone. Let us run TV AA until we can get that oil out of the ground again. And, and I would like to see how many of you would really like to do without electricity. You cannot run a huge skyscraper on windmills. It ain't going to work. That's a scheme. It's a job scheme. So leave the coal alone. Let's run TV A until we can get over to get rid of all these imaginations of what's going to happen to the earth if we keep using the coal up. I sure don't want to muffle it up because I mean, I'm about ready to fall asleep in front of you people, you citizens. Okay, the oil. We have to go, like I said earlier, if you have a problem with finding an answer, you have to go back in history, back as far as you can to see and find the answer. First, we have to remember why we barred drilling in the first place. And what is the most important to use of that oil? Now, I'll tell you why we barred it. We barred it because we'd rather buy the oil from someone else because when they run out, they won't have any more. And then we can drill our oil for our children of the future. Now, because you know, oil won't last forever. so. I'd rather pay a couple cents more and buy them off of them to guarantee in case we don't invent a, another power source, my children would have it. The second thing is um, solar panels. Well, after my uh, intense uh, research, I found out by 2080, uh, the whole eastern, southeastern United States it's going to be a dry land like the desert over in Mexico because of the sun flares. Now, as long as you have, I don't know if anybody knew, last night at 12 o'clock, uh, this yesterday, yesterday uh, sun flares broke off the sun and came out as a thousand miles an hour and like Aruba's and uh, came out 12 o'clock at night and no one even knew it and no one even told you. I bet no one even knew that. Now, when that happened, and in, in between 2050 and 40 to 50, the solar panels will not work no more. So I don't think I can be for solar panels. Now windmills. Well, windmills probably work as long as we can find enough wind to make them work. <laughs> okay? Uh, but, so I think 
we have to go back and use what we always had in dams, hydropower, okay? Works. Now, I, I know it may sound funny, but what would happen if we can just turn the faucet on, this is one of my inventions, okay? Uh, I, I, a patent's going in for it right now. We turn the faucet on, okay, you have a stream of water come out. We turn a paddle wheel, well that, okay, but instead of using the faucet, we're going to take the, 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 the fuel pump from the gas, from the gas tank from a, a car. We go, woo, you know, and it'll spin that wheel real fast. And in turn, fill this personal, uh, uh, a residential generator so fast that we can produce our own energy right out of our own house using our water pipe system. And as long as we keep the water flowing, like we have it somehow, just have it where it flows and keeps hot water all the time. So we just keep this thing flowing, and it turns this thing so fast, we're going to turn the meter back, and they're going to have to send us a check from the <laughs> nuclear power. <laughs> okay, that's and time. We, and we'll have, we have that in every house. Eventually, we ain't going to need that nuclear power, except for, <laughs> hey, corporations, hey, 10 to that's 1, I think you can even turn this into car power if you make the, the thing move fast enough and the, uh, and make a... That's uh, your electric cars that run off water. Hmm? It's time. Thank you. Hey, a scientist that says it works. Mr. I'm sorry, that's time. Mr. Schweitzer. Uh, yes, I, uh, on that issue, um, I am not for centralized power schemes. And so TVA being one of those, I um, am I'm not that particularly fond of. But um, I, we do need to do a, what solar and wind power that you can do, and certainly uh, humankind has been taking care advantage of that for a very long time before uh, oil was discovered and before coal was discovered. Um, we are a pampered society, as June says, Amen. because we, uh, you know, we live in all of this air conditioning. We drink iced tea and Amen. and all our drinks. You know, if you go to Europe, they use 43 percent of the energy we use here. You know, you don't go over there and see a, uh, every little store have a big, huge bank of refrigeration going on selling the same flavor of or, you know, a bunch of flavors of sugar water, you know, for people. But what we think we can do is take us in a different direction. And we believe we can build a resilient economy here. And there's five areas that we want to look at uh, besides the economics, ecology, health, security and education. Now economics and ecology, health and security, they're all connected. And education is how we teach our children how to do it. Now uh, when we start talking about energy systems, I would like to see TVA become a funding agency for funding community scale energy projects. Because let me describe one to you. And these are uh, things that we don't, uh, that our science certainly understands, but people haven't been willing to do it, and it's because big corporations. But the reason, <coughs> one of the things that we can do is, for instance, this is just an example of one, and there are hundreds of thousands, and I'll bet people in your community would come up with even more. But here's one. You have a system where your waste from your toilets and everything goes down to a methane digester. That methane digester produces fuel in the form of methane, it produces a gas that can be burned cleanly. And it can be the process heat for an ethanol fuel still. Now where do you get the feedstock for your ethanol fuel still? Well, you take the effluent from the methane digester and you run it out into a, a reed bed of cattails. Now when cattails are subjected to uh, affluent like that, sewage affluent, they go three times their size. Now you can get about 500 gallon. Well, if you could get 500 gallons uh, per acre using corn, you'd be doing real good. Cattails, you can get 10,000 gallons per acre. Okay, so you have a lot of fuel to deal with. Fuel is going to be real important for our farming practices, and for the travel that we want to do, but our appetites have to come down some, and we've got to refocus ourselves on important things to do. Okay, thank you.